Got to shoot the ball. Ware gets it off before the shot clock expires. And that's going to be a shot clock violation as he wasn't able to make contact with the goal. So 5.25 remaining. Go to Lions. Again, 12-point lead. 58 to 46. <laughs> I love it. The fans are doing a really good job of talking trash. Absolutely. And, you know, we're known for that around these parts. <laughs> yeah. Here's Southern. They'll bring it up to the front court. 5.20 remaining. Trailing by 12. Motion offense for the Jags. They'll swing it around the perimeter. Ends up in the hands of Rollins. He kicks it back to Bird. Time ticking. Approaching five minutes remaining. Of course, time playing in the favor of the Golden Lions. Here's an attack by P.J. Bird. Pump fake shoots. And oh. got caught Doss in the air. He bailed out again. And Doss bails him out. Great defense up until the point. Yeah. You just have to remain on the floor when... You had him knocked down. Yeah, he, he, Coach uh, Bozeman was telling him all he had to do was just raise his hands right there. And he would have got. So that oh, is that is him P.J. Bird to the line. P.J. Bird. Under five minutes remaining. 4.57 to be exact. As Bird is able to knock down his first free throw. And Tyrone Lyons will return for Southern. Bird will have one free throw remaining. Go to Lions, still leading by 11. Possibly 10 here after the free throw by Bird if he's able to knock it down. And he does. So a 10 point advantage for the Golden Lions. And if you're the Golden Lions, you want to at least under the four minute mark have a 10 point lead. Because now that clock starts to work against the Jaguars. Here's a pass by Trey John Ware. Fast break. Sean Dawes Jr. finishing for his 21st point of the ball game. He leads all scorers. Swinging it around. Are the Jags. Here's the jump shot. Mid range jumper is good by Deshaun Woods. Nice basket there. Yeah, you kind of expect Woods. He's going to make some shots. Dad could shoot it, too. <laughs> right, absolutely. Some things you're just born with. Go to Lions in no hurry as they'll try to eat some of this clock wisely. Shot clock now down to 10. Swings it over to Milton. Milton has it. Shot clock to five. Back to Milton. Spin move. Shot clock going to wind down. Milton up over the top. No good. Rebound. Southern. They're going to attack. Oh. The shot is blocked by Kylan Milton. Beautiful block by Milton there. And here's the attack again. Swings it over to the left wing. Kicks it out. Great defensive recovery by the Golden Lions. Yeah, they all over. They all, all over the court. Yes, sir. And here's a good trap down in the corner. They're going to swing it around. Oh, he traveled. Woods is going to take the mid-range jumper. He misses. Offensive board, no good. And a push in the back. That foul is on number 22, and that's going to be on Brian Whitley, his fourth personal, and the team's six. Media timeout. We'll take a one-minute break as well. Go to Lions, 10-point lead, 60-50 to 50, with 327 remaining. We'll be back in a moment on the Reliance main broadcast of Go to Lions Sports on the UAPB Sports Network at 99.3 The Beat. They did it like football. You know how your coach be like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. just do it.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the H.O. Clemens Arena. Golden Lions holding on to a 10-point lead with only 327 remaining in this ball game. As the fans have been involved in this one, and you love to see it, man. And, and I mean, as a former player coach, uh, you, you know as well as I do, that energizes you on the court. When you hear your fans behind you and they're cheering and they're yelling and they're getting on the coaches, that kind of gives you a little extra push. Well, one thing I can tell you about being here for as long as I have, this is the, the uh, hypest student group that we've had since I've been, been here. It's been a while. Well, it's been a while. I've seen some great I mean, I've been here right. 13 years. Right. And this group here is, they, they're in the game. And I've been here about 20, so yeah. you're about right. Go to Lions have it in the front court. They hold on to that 10-point lead. 3.15 remaining. In no hurry is the shot clock down to 15. So it should be under three minutes by the time we take a shot. Yeah. Man, that's what you want now. That clock works against the Jaguars now. We get under that. Here's where he swings it over to Doss. Doss takes the mid-range jumper up and no good. And the rebound by the Jags. They'll push it forward with P.J. Bird. He swings it and get it over to Williams. Williams in a little trouble. Finally gets it out to Bird. 2.40 remaining in the game. Ten-point advantage, Golden Lions. Bird steps back, thought about a three, looking inside, gets it inside to the player, and he just runs oh. over. Nice block by Kylan Milton. An even better job of not, not landing standing on, on where his, his head. Yes. He could have landed on where his head, but he, I don't know how he missed him coming down, but he did. I mean, look at the awareness of Kylan Milton. Yeah. To pay attention to block the ball, and then, like you said, able to avoid his teammate that was laying on the floor. Yeah. It's great body control right there, but but Milton is a high riser. Though. He is 40 inch vertical on this kid, and he stands about six four. Sophomore, sophomore from Conway, yeah, Arkansas. Just gonna say that, just a sophomore too. So that'll send Terrell Williams to the line, and he's able to knock down the front end of the free throw. One thing you can say, both teams have shot the ball well from the free throw line today. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Southern is at 81.8, and UAPB is 92.3. That is excellent. Yeah, <laughs> both teams have done a good job. Second free throw up, and did is no good. Rebound, Sean Doss. They'll try to trap Milton in the corner. Back over to Doss, out to Ware, and that quickly they break the press. And that's going to be a call. That's a good job by Ware right yes, there. Yes, that, that was foul. excellent. Yeah. He saw that it was nothing there. He was a chance to get some contact, and he did. Now it's just about just keep doing what we've been doing. That's Lions' first personal foul. That's going to be the seven against the Jags, and that'll send Trey John Ware to the line. Nine-point advantage for the Golden Lions with 2.26 remaining in this ball game. 60-51 to 51 our score. Ware, front end of the one-and-one, one is no good. Rattles out. Man, I mean, all the way down and out. There's a spin move. That should be a travel. I don't think we made contact with him. I don't think so either. But, but they're going to say he did. It just looked so bad. It, <laughs> it looked did. bad. So Trey John Ware called for his third. Actually, he just Actually, that's his out. fifth personal foul. I'm yeah. way behind on Ware. But Ware, hey, he, 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 he gave the goal to last some great minutes today yes. from yes. the point guard spot. Um, and that's one thing Coach Bozeman been finding this year. I mean, at one point, um, we had Verdon. He came in and did a good job. Uh, Ron Hardis came in and did a good job at that spot. So, good minutes today by Ware. So, Chris Green will return to replace Ware, who has fouled out of the, by, out of the ball game. Trey John Ware. And with, with Green coming in the game, now the Golden Lions are long again. You know, right. Shortest person on the court is, is Milton at 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, and the only thing it does, though, it takes one more ball handler off the court. Yeah. But you do have, of course, Milton. Doss. And Doss can handle it as well. And Curry, if need be. Here's the front end of the one and one. It is good. The lead is now eight with 2.22 remaining. And the Golden Lions not out of the woods yet. You're talking about a Southern team that's sitting in first place in the SWAC. So you were talking about a very good team. The Golden Lions have to close this ball game out. Yeah, yeah, it's probably going to be done at the free throw line. And that free throw is good by P.J. Bird as well. Because what you want to do is just continue to attack the basket right here and try to get to the free throw line and put the game away. 
So the front court pass to Chris Green. He gets it over to Milton. Milton will set it up. Seven point advantage. Approaching two minutes remaining in this ball game. Yeah, you wanted to take down. Every second counts right now. Should be under two minutes when the go to Lions attempt a shot. Sean Doss attacks, goes up strong, misses the layup. A battle for the rebound ends up in the hands of the Jags. This is a big possession right here for Southern. Here's the attack. This is P.J. Bird. Loses the handle. Green gets it, gets it out to Milton, and he'll slow it down. Milton needs to get across the center court, and he does. Again, seven-point lead for the Golden Lions. One and a half minutes remaining. It's going to go down to the wire. Tick down. Tick, tick, tick. Big possession here for the Golden Lions. A basket here would make it that more difficult. Yeah. Milton yeah. is going to attack. Goes up off the glass. No good. His own tip. No good. Rebound. Jags. Here comes Woods. He'll bring it up. And a whistle. Then they're going to call A.C. Curry on the foul. And as you can hear, no one agrees with that one yeah, except for Southern. And you don't want that because you stop the clock and you give them a chance to score some points. They can conceivably cut the lead to five right here uh, with no time coming off the clock. So still in the one-in-one one era, area, I should say, the Jags will head to the line with Deshaun Woods. And we'll see if he can... Anything from the line. Front end is good. And you kind of expect that out of Woods as he'll have one remaining. 60 to 54 our score. Winding down here with 113 remaining in the game. Second free throw is up and good by Woods. Timeout Southern. We'll take one as well. 113 remaining in this ball game. 60 to 55 is our score. Go to Lions hold on to a five-point lead. We'll take a 30-second timeout and be back with more on the Reliance Bank broadcast of Golden Lions basketball on 99.3 The Beat. Five-point advantage for the Golden Lions with 113 remaining in this ball game. UAPB has possession underneath the opponent's goal. A.C. Curry will inbound as Shondos Jr. has a little blood on his jersey. And we got to get that fixed quick because you got to keep him in the ball game at some point. Just give him another jersey. And that's exactly what they're going to have to do. Or they're going to try to clean it off real quick. With 113 remaining. Now, the Golden Lions, of course, you're going to see full court pressure out of Southern. They're not going to let you just walk it up the court trailing by five. Golden Lions need to get it in the front court. Of course, you want to eat up as much time as you can. Of course, you have 30 seconds on the shot clock. But uh, to me, it's very important that you get a bucket here or head to the line. Yeah, I mean, my thing is I would continue to attack. Absolutely. Um, because one thing about it, Southern has to stop you. Right. Or maybe even go inside to Ishmael Platt. I mean, we saw that a little bit earlier. Um, of course, he has to be aware and ready for the, the collapse and kick it back out. But you, know, you want to try to get it inside if possible. Sean Dawes Jr. has it. Gets it up front to Chris Green, who turns it over. Well, the ball was tipped. Actually, good defense by the Jaguars. Right. Active job doesn't work there. As Jags. One minute remaining. They have it. This is P.J. Bird. Swings it over. Down to the corner. Pump fake. Shot no good. Ball knocked away. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. And possession goes over to the Golden Lions. Yeah, I mean, with the way they've been playing defense, it's, you know, if I'm Coach Bozeman, I'm, I'm still okay. Because we played tremendous defense today. Bram Harris checks in the game. A.C. Curry will inbound. Kicks it over to Milton. Milton out front to Bram Harris. Gets it down low to Plett. He'll bring it back out. Smart. Milton gets in the front court, and he'll set up. Graham Harris has it, and again, 
Go to the line's going to eat up some of the clock here. Gets it back to Milton. A lot of grabbing there by the defender, Whitley. And they'll let the shot clock go down to 10 seconds. Here's Milton. He's going to attack. And should have been a foul there, but Milton goes up, shoots the shot. No good. A.C. Curry, no good. It's game. Been, that's John Dawson. That's going to be game. That's going to be game right there. 19 seconds remaining. Go to Lions. Seven point lead. Here's the attack. He loses his balance. And he rolls out of bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. <laughs> and Sean Dobbs Jr. gives a little eye to the coach over there. <laughs> yeah, and they start to see the bus leaving here on the screen. Oh, that is a lovely, lovely, lovely uh, graphic there. As the Golden Lions should come out of here with another win. They're going to shake the keys like they used to do in the old days. Shake the keys and let them know it's time to get the bus. Yeah, it's Coach Bozeman getting the crowd up. I love to see it. I love to see it. 62-55, 12.3 remaining as the inbound is knocked, <laughs> knocked away. And we have 12 seconds on the clock is what they're saying. 12 seconds exactly left on the clock. A.C. Curry will inbound. Go deep. Gets it in to Bram Harris. Kicks it up. And that's a turnover. Almost got that one. Three-point shot. Air ball. Rebounded by Kylan Milton. And that should do it. And then will go yeah. to Lions win a big one here at home. 62 to 55. Our final score. And the 8 0 Clemens Arena is rocking. Gentlemen, our final score, Golden Lions win 62-55. We'll take a two-minute break and we'll return. We'll have Coach Solomon Bozeman on the line after the big win here in the fifth straight conference victory for the UAPB Golden Lions. Once again, our final score, UAPB 62, Southern University 55. We'll be back in two minutes on the Reliance Bank broadcast of Golden Lions Sports on the UAPB Sports Network and Delta Plex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back. <laughs> 